Lee today. Hi, Lee. Hi. And he is going to show us how to make one of my favourite, actually, you know, this is my favourite dessert. We're going to make a cheesecake, but it's a bit of a cheesecake with a bit of a spin. It's a wee bit of a twist. Thought I'd make it quite easy for you guys. Christmas can be stressful enough as it is, so this is really, really easy. And it's an upside down cheesecake, so you don't have to wait on the satin and you can just put it into the wee dices that you want, wee trifle dices if you want, in the glass if you want, and then it's nice and easy. And it's chocolate orange. Chocolate and orange. So Lee, take us through the ingredients first, please. Right, so you have the orange, which is not clamming here. Apologies. So you have <laughs> the vegan cream cheese. Uh, this is the BioLife here I use. So just got supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have uh, cocoa powder, icing sugar. This is for the, the cream cheese mix. Vanilla bean paste. Oatly whipping cream. It has to be whipping. Can't be the oatly cream. Oh, the whip, it's, the white, it's the white container. Uh, you have the digestive biscuits. You have the vegan butter, this is the topping, the vegan butter, and then you have icing sugar, cocoa powder, and cinnamon for the crumble mix. Lovely. And um, we're going to get started, right? So, uh, to start off with, guys, this is quite important. Let's see the cream cheese, put it into the bowl first, and just break, break it down first, because if you whip your cream and then add the cream cheese, you'll probably get wee bits of white cream coming through it. Do you get my like onset cream cheese? Like wee bits of cream cheese because it's, it's not broke down properly. Okay, so, so just break the cheese down cream first. Cream cheese in first, yeah. a bit of a whirl around it. That's it, we whirl around, yeah. yeah. And as I say, this one's... Could you hand whisk? Just yeah. take a bit longer, better to have an automatic one. Once you put the cream in, you're going to be there quite a while, uh, like, yeah. and you'll have an arm on you like Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Your 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 one arm, just a couple of goes on one arm, and your left arm keep it even. Sorry, I just run down that one on there. So, about a teaspoon of the vanilla bean paste. Is there a difference between using the paste and just like the flavouring? Well, this one has more sugar in it too, and it's all I had to, to play about with. You can use extract, might need a wee bit more icing sugar. You just taste it as you're doing it, and if you want it more sweeter, guys, have it more sweeter. But I just thought this here, once you put the, the crumble and all on top, with the orange, the orange is quite sweet too, and it's nice and fragrant. I think it was fine. Right? So now you're in with the cream. And then kind of this we processed it too well. So you're in with the vanilla paste, in with the cream cheese, nearly everything's there. Any technique about canvas? But it, no, it just make sure soft peaks. The thing to this isn't being set by uh, gelatin, or it's not set by agar agar, which is a vegan term or a vegan product that you can use to set cheesecake. Because you're not worried about it setting. It's an upside down cheesecake, as you'll see. So you want to whip it a wee bit more than what you normally would. Like a normal cheesecake, if I was to use in restaurants and if it was gelatin or agar agar, that's as far as I would go. Okay. Because by the time it cools. And if you put chocolate on it, a lot of chefs wouldn't know that. Well, people wouldn't know. If you put chocolate on it, it sets. So you, and then nothing worse than breaking into a cheesecake and it being like a block. You know what I mean? But for this one, you just have to let the lean bit So, and I'm happy enough with that four and I. That's a firm. Firm, but it's still got a wee run it. I like my cheesecake run I don't like it too set, guys. So in with the icing sugar. I actually like mine a little bit more set. Yeah, so it's the, we'll whip yours a bit would more. Would I whip that a bit more then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's still not finished. Okay. It's still not finished. So, icing sugar and cocoa powder is into that, guys, okay? So now you're coming up here and I'm gonna zest the orange. I don't do the whole orange when I made this because it just made it out of my head for you guys and I let Kim try it and she says, perfect, just a wee bit more orange. So. Using the whole orange instead of half of it. So what we love about Lee, he gets um make us a, a vegan dessert and it's just yeah. like both <laughs> this yeah. recipe. There you go. <laughs> uh, I was thinking said actually said to Kim, would you like it's Christmas a bit boozy? Okay. Uh Quantro would be beautiful in it, like a wee shot of Quantro. You could do that if you wanted, but just stick to this recipe and the next time you make a chat, it would just give it a different element. Everybody likes a wee bit of booze at Christmas, but okay. it's best just keeping it out for the people that don't drink. Gotcha. Yeah. So straight on. I want the whole orange. Don't go too deep, guys. You go too deep. That's bitter. The pulp is bitter. You want you just want the fragrance of the zest. And I'm going around the whole orange. Well this is great. I actually never zested before, so no. you're just taking that the shiny layer. You're just taking it, yeah, yeah. The skin, okay. just not the flesh. And then you're in with Ooh. 
smell it. You're just this is just segmented. If you don't want to do this and it's too complicated, guys, just just cut the orange and take all the skin off and just chop it through your cheesecake. It'll be perfectly fine. And some oranges are worse than others, is where the segments will not be even. See how they're not even here? As where they're even a wee bit even there. Like a proper orange should be full like that, a whole segment. See we see them all off. Mm. So what I'll do now is in this bowl. So it's one, two. There's no actual number, guys. I'm just being a chef and counting, <laughs> keeping myself amused. You're using the whole orange, so nothing goes to waste in this, guys. Oh, don't want that flesh. Let's get the flesh bits out. Yep, got And then, last one. Now, I personally so, trust myself with this technique, so I could have just chopped it. You, you just I, take a scalp yeah. and then just chop, chop it. it. You just take the middle out, you don't want the middle, make sure there's no seeds. I love the way you, you squeeze the rest of the oh, juice in, yeah? We just not want that, so you want all the juice in. So, what I do now is I'll just pour all that juice in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's part. So that's all the mixture for the cream cheese mix. So I'm going to show you this again here now. I'm happy with that, guys. See, it's not leaving the bowl. Oh, yeah, it's not leaving anymore. Plus, if you look at it, it's still nice and smooth. It's not overly wet. It's not. I don't need to taste this, by the way, guys. I've made it already, so. And it's then, a nice chocolate orange flavouring. Yeah, and then this is just pipe bag in the glass and then just bellow it out. This just makes it so much easier for yourself to pipe it. So it's the full mixture that we're putting into a piping bag? Yeah, it sounds good. If, you, if, you, if you're not happy with doing this, you can always give let someone give you a hand because there's plenty of people that are at Christmas time, isn't mm -hmm. it? Get as many people involved as possible. Exactly, plus people like to lick the bones and give it a try <laughs> before it goes out. But as I said, we shot us like uh, Quattro would be just beautiful. When, maybe. if you were going to do that, when would you, when would you put that what, in the mixture? See whenever I put it in the, the orange juice in? Yes. See it. Uh -huh. Just a, a shot, shot glass? Yeah, shot? a shot, a shot would do those two cheese. This serves two guys, so this is for two cheesecakes. So, and then, can you get it? Please. And as I say, if, if you don't want to use the piping bag, if you're not that fussed on presentation and that, it doesn't make much difference. It's just, it's more precise and it's more easier to do, if you ask me. So. Like you can turn if, if this is too big, guys. You could turn it into four. You could turn it into three. You just choose. It's Christmas. Perfect. I love, but just like the kind of presentation of doing the little, little glasses. I think yeah. that'd be really nice if you know, rather than normally cheesecake comes in the big slab and you got a bit sliced off, or there's like the, the effort and like the individual exactly. glasses. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's upside down. It's different. Yeah. I mean, so I just doesn't matter how much times you what layers you do, guys. It's just try and keep it even. So two B segments in each glass there. And then you're just pushing down and building up. Oh, it's just like la layering it. Just layering it up, yeah. Little orange surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plus add sweetness too. So that's the cheesecake mix made. Now onto the crumble, guys. This is quite simple in it again. So on the medium low heat, medium pan. Actually, we probably should have said what we'll need for this, Laura. That's okay. All the utensils, and then you're just nice and easy, guys. You're just melting the butter. This has got the cocoa powder, eggs and sugar, and cinnamon. 
and these are the digestive biscuits all. So they're, they're quite sweet already, so you don't want to go mad on the sugar either. So we are really putting our base on the top for this one. Yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. So it's melting. I'm not being over that. You have the washing machine in the back. <laughs> it's a working kitchen. A working kitchen. Just, uh, a dish dishwasher, sorry. So. Now you just want to get that. This takes about a minute or two minutes. That's all, all going to start bubbling and foaming and then the chocolate's going to start cooking out. While you're doing that, guys, just be simple bag where you could use a bowl and just bite up the biscuits with the worm done. It's a good um, stress relief for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> especially the wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jess. <laughs> we love to be on PC around here. We can get away with it. <laughs> That's it, you just want fine breadcrumbs, guys. If you like more chunkier, work away. Remember, there's butter in this, so it's going to set in the fridge. You don't want it too chunky. See where I'll see it all starting to foam? So you get the cinnamon, the smells of Christmas, the clementine orange, and the chocolate, which is always on there. And then you're just done with the biscuit mix. There's no, doesn't matter how long you do this, a minute would be perfectly fine. I'm just trying to cope so those really, the, the biscuits turn in chocolate colour. Yeah, guess. yeah, and then you just want the wee chunky bits to break down too. And then you're just, you're just releasing the off. You're making this more crispier now because you've just added the butter to it, so it's going to soften the, uh, the biscuits. And you just want them a wee bit more crunchy. Soggy biscuits, crunchy. Soggy, crunchy. nobody makes a soggy biscuit. Mm -hmm. I'm happy enough with that, guys. And that comes off the heat. And then, a spoon. Oh, nice. So, again, they could have had, you know, Three or four, and just divided all this mixture right between how many you get your yeah. serving for. Yeah, I'm just doing this for two, and they're quite indulgent and quite big. But as I say, you could serve three, or you could make them so smaller and do serves four. We had a little um, taste yesterday in the office, so they they are they are filling, but there's still like a lightness to them, especially like after like after the like Christmas dinner, especially. I always need a nap, you uh, know, or you need to yes, leave yes. that that gap or, or you know you maybe need to leave a gap between your dessert and your dinner sometimes mm -hmm. to have a rest but something like this you probably could manage it or be something like just quite light yeah, yeah. after nice and easy Brilliant. you know always time for dessert oh they're so good so do these need to can I these mean, be eaten straight away or do you can eat them straight away just be careful of the warm breadcrumb i like them served right away but if you sat them in the fridge they're good for two to three days guys Oh, so again, you could do all prep and yeah. prep before, and then yeah. just just serve everybody. Yeah. Would you put clean filler in from around them? Yeah, uh, them? actually, yeah, that's a good that point. So just clean filler mm -hmm. on the top, so you just don't end up on because sometimes your refrigerator can give a taste off. Yes. So you ever get that refrigerator taste? The batter, something if I had a garlic or you know something. It smells, yeah. the foods, like especially if you have onions now in your fridge too. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we've got perfect perfect dessert in general to be honest, but never mind again. Festive season with that chocolate orange and. Um, I'm a little taste of this. Thank you so much. Enjoy.